How's it going? Today we're going to be talking about how to swing ice tools, but in order to do so, we need to learn a little bit about how these tools are shaped and the ways in which we can swing them. So this is a curved shafted tool that has a lower and an upper pommel. This is where I'm going to place my lower hand. How these tools work, the rotation will actually go from the pinky on some tools and the pointer finger on others. So just swing the tool back and forth to see how it pivots on your hand. This tool in particular will pivot through the uh, pointer finger. So now when we swing ice tools, there's three moving parts for our arm, our wrist, our elbow, and our shoulder. So think of this like swinging a hammer in terms of accuracy. We want to minimize the amount of movement we use with our shoulder and maximize the amount of movement we have with our elbow and our wrist. So the swing will look something like this. Okay, what I'm doing What I'm doing is I'm pulling the tool back with my elbow and I'm driving and flicking the wrist into the ice. When you get a good stick, you'll then test your tool. In order to do that, you just pull down on the shaft. For picking out where to swing in the ice, we're gonna look for the concavities of the ice as opposed to the convexities. Uh, the concavities have more ice surrounding them and therefore they will hold better when we swing the tools. So I'll demonstrate. As I swing up, I'll extend my tool but not overextend with my upper body. So I'll stay square. I'll pick a divot such as this one and I can swing or to be efficient, if my pick goes into the ice, I'll place it in there weight the tool. As I move, I'll move into the center of this tool with my body and pull my elbow into my chest. Then I'll find another concavity, reach up with the tool, swing. This has some good tension. Pull down to test and then move up and into that tool. So as I do this, I'll stand up and then repeat. So the concavity up here, swing, in, test, move. Pull in, hits into the wall, repeat. As climbers start to get better with reading the ice, our sequences might change from that right, left, right, left movement. In this video, I'll just demonstrate how to make a progression from swinging a right tool and then swinging again right of the highest tool that you place. In order to do this, we'll have to match our tools and that will be the demonstration. So I'll grab my high tool move over top of that high tool placement, pull my low tool out and create a tool rest using the thumb that I'm holding on to for my upper tool. I'll then grab the upper pommel with my free hand, match the tool again with my thumb. It frees up my right hand to grab the lower pommel. I'll find ice that looks good, swing or hook, test and then move into that next position. So again, in reverse, thumb holder, low pommel, thumb holder, freeze up the hand that you need and then find a position to hook. And that's matching tools if we need to go in the same 
sequence for several moves because of better ice.